Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial where today we are going to be making a diamond which is actually pretty simple to do. So uh, we're going to use an add-on for this so make sure to go to edit preferences and then in add-ons go to extra objects and make sure that's enabled for mesh. Uh, the reason we're doing that is diamond is actually a preset on there so we don't need to model it okay. So shift a mesh and then you're going to see all these extras go to diamonds and then you have three kinds. I like the brilliant diamond. I like the way that looks. Uh, this would be kind of difficult to model ourselves, especially with all these like uh, curved edges and stuff like this. Uh, but let's make it look good. So I'm going to put it on its side so the diamond is kind of resting on the floor. And we need to give this a kind of reflective see-through material. Okay, uh, so in shading, what we're going to do is we're going to make a very simple material that's actually very effective. Uh, we're going to start off very simple. We'll make it more complicated later uh, with a glass BSDF. Uh, which right now you're going to see does nothing because there's no light to reflect or refract, right? The background is just gray. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to go to cycles and you can see now we're getting a bit of that reflection. Uh, but really, we need a background to actually see this with. So I'm going to load in an HDRI environment uh, to do that. And now you can see our diamond looks much more diamond-like because there's actually light or things to reference where the light's bending and stuff like this. A couple things about a diamond, the IOR or the index of refraction, how light bends through it, uh, that value, if you look it up, is something close to 2.45. I'm just going to do 2.4 and you can see how that changes the look. Basically, this is kind of like how light refracts, um, index of refraction, refracts through it. So make sure this is close to 2.4 and maybe add a bit of roughness so it's not perfectly shiny, okay? Uh, so this is the beginning of the diamond. We can kind of set this up with a nice uh, background. So I'm just going to extrude this and uh, give it a bit of a bevel and make this thing a bit wider. And now you can see it's resting on a nice surface and this is looking like a nice diamond. Uh, but uh, we're not getting any kind of like chromatic aberration or light splitting, uh, kind of where you see the uh, diffraction in a sense, I think it's called. Uh, where we separate the red, green, and blue. Uh, so let me make this material more complicated. So this is a trick a lot of people use. They add three glass BSDFs. The first one is going to be completely red. So you can see we have a red diamond. Uh, the second one is going to be completely green. And the third one's going to be completely blue. You can probably see where I'm going with this. Um, all we need to do is we need to kind of add these together. So I'm adding. So red and green make yellow. And then that plus blue uh, makes white. So this is no difference, different than having an original glass BSDF. So you're like, what's the point of this? Here's the point. Uh, for our original, we're going to keep it at an IOR of 2.4. For the next one, we can bring it down a bit. Maybe not by that much, but 2.35. And then for the next one, we bring it down a bit further. And now you can see we're actually getting some of that light splitting. Uh, it's probably a bit too intense right now. So let's uh, actually bring down that effect. So I'm going to make it close to 2.4. And then 2.5. So these are kind of closer together. And you're going to get, um, oh no, I meant uh, 2. Point, what did I mean? 2.35? Yeah, there you go. Uh, you can see that the kind of rainbow light splitting that you see right here uh, is kind of more subtle. Uh, so this is just how to get some of those colors inside your diamond that you're probably going to see. Um, and uh, by default, it should actually be using caustics and stuff like this. If you go to your uh, light paths and go to caustics, it's already using those. There's just not a direct light source to actually see that with. So we can actually add a direct light source and make it much stronger. And now you can see we have our shadow and a bit of caustic over here. Although, uh, make sure to enable for your uh, ground plane. In the uh, shading, make sure to enable cast and receive caustics and same for the diamond. And that's just going to make sure we have our caustics. Um, and if we were to disable these, you can see the difference. It just adds a bit of a refracted uh, and reflected light over there. Uh, so that's how you make a diamond. It's pretty simple. You, you basically use the extra objects add-on and make a super simple shader. Hopefully that helped somebody.